Hello everyone, welcome to learn data structures and algorithm in Python course. In today's lecture, we will not be discussing about any topic, rather I will be discussing about how to approach a problem. How to approach a basically DSA problem. So let's start. So when you face a problem, or basically a DSA problem, the first thing is to do is to read the question carefully. At least you have to read the question two times or three times. If the question is descriptive, uh, that so much information is given in the question, then it is good. Otherwise, what do you have to do? You have to look what are the other thing is given. Is there any hint or is there any test cases given or example given in this question or not? So this is the first, first thing. So spend some time reading the question because this, this is very, very important. If you don't understand the problem properly, then how can you solve the problem? So please read the question very, very carefully. Then the next step. Next step is to collect the information from the problem. Whatever information given in the problem, you have to write it down in your notebook. Use a pen and paper and collect the information. Now, the next point is very, very useful when you are going to solve hard level question. And the point is break down the question in smaller chunks. So in hard level question, uh, so this actually a particular problem that is divided into two to three modules. So by reading the problem, you can get that. You can understand what it is telling to do. So, they, so break down the question is very, very important. That is basically for medium or high level problems. Then the next thing is, please look at the examples that are given in the problem. And by give, watching the example, you can basically get the idea how to solve the problem. And that is also a very, very uh, important point to go through the examples. And also the next point is, please watch the constants. What are the constants given in the question? That also you have to uh, take in your mind. Like in constant, by watching the constant, you can get an idea like about the time complexity or space complexity of the problem. Like the problem will be solved in n square approach or n cube approach or log n approach. So that idea you'll get by seeing the constant of this problem. Uh, let me show you uh, what I mean to say. So you can see this is a lead code problem. This is basically an easy level problem called two sum problem. So when you see a problem, the sub first step is to read the description, what is given in the problem. At least two times to three times you have to read and take some time to understand the problem statement. That is the first thing. Now, when you read the question, you may find some question doesn't have that much description like if you go to this problem longest palindromic substring so this is pretty straightforward this doesn't have much description right but for this problem this has some description so first you have to read this now if you don't understand by reading this description what is the next thing next thing is to see the examples like what is the inputs what are the outputs and explanation that you have to see that you have to watch then example one example two now even if you don't understand the problem care uh, properly if you just observe these examples then you can definitely get an idea from this also from this for this problem also there are some examples given and you have to observe this carefully then the next step the next step is to gather the information. Gather the information from this problem. What are given, how to do it. That you have to note in your uh, notebook. Use pen and paper and take it down. Then the next thing you have to look at this constant. So what is the number uh, input length given. So here you can see this is 10 to the power 4. So that means you can solve this problem by n square approach so uh, usually we take 10 to the power 9 is the 
uh, upper level so this is the input size is given 10 to the power 4 means if you square it like 10 to the power 4 square then it will be 10 to the power 8 so n square pro uh, approach will be uh, accepted for this now if you go here so here you can see the input size is 1000 so n cube approach will also be accepted here so you have to look at the constant very carefully then you will get an idea like which approach would be suitable for this problem then another thing uh, you have to consider like by watching this example you also have to consider the edge cases so in problem in you might be miss some edge cases for this particular problem that you have to consider while you are uh, noting it down that you have to consider so this is the thing so first thing is to read the problem then if you don't understand the problem let's go through the examples and then go through the constraints and the next thing is to consider the edge cases you have to think what will be the edge cases for this problem okay now you have read the problem and gather all the information now how to solve this so you can directly code it or what are the steps no the first step to solve the problem is to take pen and paper and first think about brute force approach what is the basic approach naive approach to solve the problem it may the time complexity of brute force approach may be higher like uh, let's assume it is n cube approach so when you uh, able to solve using brute force approach then think about optimal approach the optimal solution first you have to solve using brute force then comes to optimal approach right and the next step and it is most important thing like you have to check your test cases like you have to match your answer with the test cases is it is matching or not you must have to check it and if it is not then uh, you have you must have made some edge cases or something so you all have to consider like the examples that you have to match then edge cases that you have forget to just consider that you have to do and then the next thing uh, let's say you don't understand the problem or you are not able to solve the problem then what you have to do so you have to spend a, a little amount like uh, let's say five minutes or uh, seven minutes now if in that uh, time period it is possible to solve then it is okay otherwise just keep the problem and go for the next problem because time is important for each question you will be giving 10 minutes to 15 minutes of time so if you spend much time by solving one problem just a single problem then you might uh, not be uh, able to solve the other problem that are most easy and if you pick hard question initially you may be waste so much time so that we don't have to do that will not do right so first you have to just take pen and paper then approach for boot force approach then uh, verify the answer with the test cases and examples and next just consider the all the edge cases you have missed that you have to take into mind and then uh, the important thing don't spend much time on a single problem right and i'll say always start with easy level problem because if you can solve easy problem then you'll definitely get confidence and you can solve medium or hard level question easily but if you initially stuck at hard level problem then you may lose some confidence then easy level question will not be solved by you so first try for easy question then when you get confident then you can go for medium level or hard level question so that is the pattern we have to follow to solve the coding problem right so that's it for today see you in the next lecture